Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the first video on my YouTube channel. And so today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this tank top on pixlr.e for Roblox. So let's get started. So first you're going to need this template. Um, and to get that, I'll insert a clip on how to do that here. So I personalized mine, as you can see, I added my name, that is really outdated, I'm going to change soon. Um, and I have some pictures in the background, so if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to make a personalized template, then let me know in the comments. So in order to get started, you want to get some ideas, um, inspiration for your tank top. So I suggest going to Brandy Melville. Um, it's a good store to look at when you're looking for pieces because they have very clear pictures um, like this and this and you can easily get some screenshots of the materials and patterns like right here. Another good store to check out is Yes Style and it is a basically a clothing store with more variety in their clothing and they have much more clear pictures um, with white backgrounds such as this. Um, so that you can easily get a PNG off of that by deleting the background and using the patterns or designs to help you. For specific pieces of patterns um, and designs, I recommend going to Pinterest because they have a lot more variety of patterns and, and different types of aesthetics, I guess. Um, and so just kind of scroll through and I chose this one. So after you're done saving the design, you're going to go back to Pixlr and hit the plus sign and click image to insert your pattern that you just saved. So now it's time to make the official outline of the shirt. So go to the paintbrush tool and select your paintbrush size and color. Here I am just outlining the shirt and referencing a um, design I made earlier to help me. And so you're just going to make half of it duplicated and flip it horizontally like so and um, merge them together to make your top part of the tank top. Another thing is that Pixlr recently got a brand new update where the drawing tool is much more easier to use, it's a lot more user friendly. Um, and so in this clip I did not have the update yet, so future videos that I will post will have the update and I'll show you guys how to make the curved lines a lot easier. So here I am just using the straight line tool to connect the uh, front top part of the tank top to the edges of the white boxes to create the sides and the back of the tank top. So now it's time to make these straps of the tank top. So go to your line tool and draw a line from that peak to the top of the white box and do that to both sides. So in order to make the front and the back straps connect on the avatar, we're going to want to make a marker somewhere here to indicate the length between um, the strap to the edge of the box because we're going to copy and paste it to the back side of the tank top. So get your straight line tool and draw a line from the strap to the end on that white line and try to make it exactly on that white line so it's a lot easier to tell where to paste. So to copy and paste, we're going to go to the select tool on the top left corner and drag a box across the straps and hit command C on a Mac or control C on a Windows computer to copy and command V or control C to paste it. And we're going to paste it and drag it onto the other side of the tank top. Now that we've got it there, we're going to hit flip uh, vertically so that we can see where the lines are touching the white border as you can see. And here I'm adjusting it so that it fits perfectly inside the box so that when we put it on the avatar, it can perfectly align. 
Then merge all of the layers of the outline together by hitting Command 6 and then delete the lines, the marking lines that you used for the straps. So now it is finally time to use the pattern that we got earlier, so make sure to lock the background layer so that it doesn't move and bring out the pattern to the front and align it so that it is proportional to the shirt. Here I am duplicating each of the layers and moving them uh, to the side so that it creates a larger layer to fill up the entirety of the shirt. So don't forget to keep merging the layers of the pattern so that is a lot easier to um, work with later on. Now just delete the excess pattern either by using the select tool, dragging and hitting delete or by using the eraser tool. So now it's time to shade. So make a new layer by hitting the plus sign and hitting empty. Next, choose your color by hitting the circles there and choose a color from your shirt that's a lot more prevalent than other colors and drag the color down a little bit to darken the shade. So then you can use your paintbrush tool and select a um, brush size here. I use either 20 or 30 from the uh, softest brush size. And then you can color in on the edges of the shirt to make this sort of like shaded and more natural effect. Then once you're done, go up at the top to filter and then hit details and blur and adjust the blur accordingly so that your shading is weakened but not completely disappeared because we're going to go and hit the three dots next to the layer and turn up the transparency, not down, unlike what Pixlr says. And then we're going to erase the excess shading from outside the shirt to clean it up. So now it's time to add some finishing touches to your tank top to make it a little bit more unique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the bottom part of the outline like right here because a lot of shirts and tank tops don't really have that bottom seam so I just took it off. And then for the remaining part of the outline I'm going to change the color by going to adjustment and color lookup and choosing a more pinkish tone to match the pattern. I'm also going to be adding a small bow at the front, so I have a picture of a couple of bows saved on my computer, so I'm just going to pull that up. I'm going to delete the parts of the picture that I do not need, like the other bows. And then I'm going to go hit the scissors tool and hit magic mask and turn up the tolerance a bit. And I'm going to hit the gray part of the picture to um, delete all of that gray area because uh, Pixlr can automatically detect like one color. Um, pictures and just delete all that one color on the picture so that's really helpful to use then I'm resizing the bow and hitting adjustment and color lookup and then I'm going to choose the same color pink as I chose for the outline so now that you're finally done with your whole tank top you're going to go up to the top left corner hit uh, file save and then name your tank top whatever you want um, I'm calling mine demo for the purposes of the video and then make sure it's at PNG or else it will not convert. So then go to Roblox, hit create shirts and then hit create new shirts at the top or choose file and pull up the downloaded image that you just saved. So before it officially uploads and publishes, it's going to have to go to Roblox and let them approve of it before it's actually uploaded. So wait a couple minutes or even up to an hour and then it'll be done. So here is the final product of the tank top. So it does not match my outfit nor my avatar, but I like the way it looks by itself. Um, I really like the pattern and the design. I would just change it so that the neckline is a little bit more lower, but other than that, I really like the way it looks. Um, and I think it does look a lot better with a better avatar. And this clip is really outdated, so my avatar now is a lot better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I really hoped you liked it and thought it was helpful. This is the very first video I'm going to be posting on this channel, so uh, sorry if it was not that good, but I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and turn on post notifications and go check out my Roblox account linked in the description. Bye, have a great day!